Hello guys, welcome back to Divine Timing Tarot. This is Tanya. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Cross watchers, you're always welcome here. And I want to give a shout out to one of my subscribers who sent me this beautiful candle here. This beautiful candle right here. The name of her... Um... Business is LadyTeesAscendingGlow.com Luxury Candles. This is Tonya Shuttlesworth at Yahoo.com. Her number is 414-552-3298. So let's show Lady T's Ascending Luxury Candles some love here, okay? And thank you, thank you, thank you so much for the candle. Love you, love you, love you. So, hello, 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 Divine Time and Tarot family. Welcome new subscribers. I love you guys. I truly appreciate you. Okay, we're here doing a general reading for Aquarius. This is for the first week of October 2021. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, guys. This is a general reading, okay? It may and it may not resonate. But if it does... Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Please, please, please. Please hit the like button. Okay, y'all. Please hit the like button. All right, Aquarius. What is going on? Let's get some overall energies. Let's get some overall energies for Aquarius. I see there's some healing going on with you. I see you're determined to move forward. You're being patient about something. You got one foot in and one foot out of a situation is what I'm hearing. You're trying to get yourself balanced. Mm -hmm. You're trying to get yourself balanced. God, angels, ancestors, Holy Spirit. What do we have for Aquarius? What are the overall energies for Aquarius for the first week of October 2021? Or whenever you guys see the video, okay? We have the King of Cups here. So you got a lot of emotions here for somebody. Could be a water sign, a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Um, you are you're very affectionate towards this person. You got a lot of love for this person too, but you're not really expressing it right now. I think you're just really trying to get yourself on track. We have the Page of Cups here. So, the Page of Cups, this could be a new situation. This could be, you know, maybe some of you guys got some secret admirers. This could be a romantic proposal. Hmm. And we have the Seven of Cups. So this is, you know, choices, opportunities, illusions, surprises. Some of you guys could be doing a lot of daydreaming about a situation here. Being very, you know, you're in this indecision. Um, you got options though here. You know, maybe, maybe you weren't expressing your love to someone. Because you were a little confused, you had options, or you maybe be you were leaving your options open, and now you want to apologize for that. Now, I think some of you guys are realizing that you have a lot of feelings for someone here. Okay, that's what I'm hearing. Y'all realizing y'all got a lot of feelings for somebody here. The Two of Wands. Give me some more information for Aquarius. The King of Swords, this could be your energy, wanting to communicate, but are you communicating truthfully? You're at a crossroads here, Aquarius. The Page of Wands, so you want to communicate. This is a, somebody, you know, this is you getting a message and it's a good message. Sparking up something, new passion. 
You're wanting to move at the bottom of the deck, the Six of Swords. You're wanting to move to calmer waters here towards something new and passionate. But somebody could be walking away, Aquarius, because I think you was confused, or this could be the person that you're dealing with. Good, go, go both ways. I think you was confused about a person because you were leaving your options open. Now you realize that you really have a lot of emotions for somebody. You're wanting a new passion and beginning with this person. You're wanting to speak your truth about how you feel now. So why is the King of Cups here for Aquarius? Why is the King of Cups? We got the Four of Cups. See, and this could be... Maybe you weren't paying attention to what was in front of you. The universe was offering you a new opportunity, but you didn't accept it. So now it could be a missed opportunity. Why is the Four of Cups with the King of Cups? We have the Six of Swords. You got the Six of Swords here twice. You're definitely wanting to move to calmer waters with somebody here. Um, The Six of Cups. Yeah. A soulmate connection here. You're wanting to reunite with someone that you did not. Someone the universe had offered you. You didn't pay any attention to it. Now it may it's a possibility it may be a missed opportunity. That's why you're at a crossroads right now. Now you're wanting to speak your truth. You want to apologize, you know, from not speaking your truth. Why is the page of cups here? That flipped quick. Yeah. You the hangman. So you're wanting to apologize for, you know, something was at a standstill. And with the two of wands, because you didn't know what you really wanted. You didn't know which way to go. The four of pentacles. But you're still holding on to this person. Why is the seven of cups here? The seven of cups is the page of pentacles. So you didn't know if you wanted, if you wanted to start something new with this person or not. Because you were leaving your options open. Why is the page of pentacles here with the... Seven of Cups. We have the Empress. Um, wow. You were dealing with your Divine Masculine. I mean, your Divine Feminine or Divine Masculine. Now you're wanting to offer your soulmate something because now you realize who this person is. The Knight of Cups. This could lead to a proposal. Yeah, with the page of cups on here too. This something is gonna could lead to a proposal if it's not too late. Why is the two of wands here for Aquarius? The ace of pentacles. So are you still being indecisive about this new beginning, or are you still at a crossroads with this new beginning? Why is the ace of pentacles with the two of wands? Why is the ace of pentacles with the two of wands? The Eight of Swords, yes. You're still in your head about a new beginning. With somebody that you know you have feelings for. What is the problem? Why is the Eight of Swords here? Why is the Eight of Swords here? Is there another person? Why is the Eight of Swords here? We have the Seven of Swords. Yes, somebody's in some sneaky, somebody doing some sneaky shit. The Nine of Wands, and somebody knows about it. And the Ten of Wands, so... Yeah, you were doing something sneaky. You walked away from this new beginning that universe was offering you. And now you're feeling you're mentally stuck now. Now you're burdened. You're heavily burdened now. Because somebody has you blocked now. King of Swords. Why is the King of Swords here? Yep, you were indecisive. Two of Swords. You didn't know what you wanted. Did you have a decision between two people? Why is the Two of Swords here with the King of Swords? Because this is definitely your energy. We got the Wheel of Fortune and Judgment. There's definitely some changes going on here. Something is going to go in your favor, Aquarius. You're wanting a second chance here, too. Why is it so the Judgment and the Wheel of Fortune here? The Seven of Pentacles. Now you're wanting to invest in this person. Why is the Page of Wands here? The King of Pentacles, yeah. Now you want to communicate that you want something stable, grounded, long-term 
You know what I'm saying? You want marriage now with somebody. Why is the King of Pentacles here with the Page of Wands? We have, yep, the lovers. You're in love with this person. Something here is destined to, guys. Something here is destined to. Unexpected. The tower. I think so, somebody's going to get some communication. Unexpected communication. That's going to make you very, very happy. Somebody now knows who you are. Knows that you are that divine masculine, divine feminine. Knows that you are their soulmate, their true love. The lovers here, yeah. So y'all about to get some communication that you're going to be like ecstatic about, okay? Yeah, the sun is at the bottom of the deck. And it's all going to be good. Y'all moving towards a new beginning. Y'all moving towards a new beginning here with the world card. Moving towards a new beginning. Okay. Let's get an outcome. Give me an outcome here for Aquarius. Yeah, so it looks like at the end of the day, everything is going to work out in your favor, Aquarius. Okay. Um, we have the star card here. This is your card. Make a wish because this is a wish card. This is... You know, you're doing a lot of healing. You're getting yourself balanced. You're hoping and wishing and praying. So whatever you're wanting, universe is about to give it to you again. Eight of Pentacles. You want to work on this situation. You definitely want to work on this situation with your person. One, one more piece of... Uh, out, give me another outcome here. More outcome. Yeah, you've gotten some clarity with the Ace of Swords. So you're going to get the victory in something. What is the advice? What is the advice? Just be patient. Wait because your ships are coming in. With the three of wands here. Be patient and wait. Your ships are coming in. Ooh, let's see. Okay. Um, the three of wands, the tower, and the page of pentacles. For some of you guys, this is going to be very unexpected. Okay. This page of Pentacles is going to be, you know, some unexpected news about money, a gift, could be a ring, because I do see engagement here. I do see engagement. I see, you know, somebody proposing here. But be patient and wait, because your ships are coming in, but they're coming in unexpectedly, okay? There is a new beginning here. I do see a new beginning here, okay? Um... Give me another piece of advice, guys. Give me another piece of advice for Aquarius. Yeah, I do see a new beginning here, y'all. That's too many cards, guys. That's too many cards. I just want one card. One more piece of advice for Aquarius. Okay, you got the two. I'll take it. Now, y'all, at the bottom of the deck here, we got the two of swords. Come out of that being indecisive. Come out of that. Yeah, three of pen, the three of cups. You're going to reunite here. You're going to reunite with somebody and the and the fool, and you're going to take that risk. Somebody's going to take a risk here. Okay, Aquarius, if this resonates, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you, guys. Bye.